Hello and welcome. I'm Anna the Wolf and I am so glad you've joined me here today for this transformational tale. Today's tale was requested by a viewer who asked about five Canadian geese. And I thought about it for a while and it turns out that as you were on a hike out in the rice fields, you came across five Canadian geese. And it was pretty similar to today. Today happens to be early spring here. And most of the waterfowl in this area are deciding it's time to migrate. And they're starting to think about nests. And as you were walking along a levee, you could hear them all talking amongst themselves. The pen tails were saying, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm so looking forward to our northern marshes. Can you, can you imagine what it's going to be like? And the other pen tails all waggled their tails and were saying, yeah, yeah, let's go. And the wing beats and a huge, huge V of ducks takes off in the sky and off they go towards their northern nesting grounds. And then you hear the sandhill cranes are hopping up and down and doing their dances and saying, it's time, it's time, I can't wait, we're going to head north, it's nesting season. And they all hop up and down and take off. And then you hear some honking. And it's all different pitches and all over the place. It's honk, ee, honk, honk, ee, honk. And you look over and there's five Canadian geese. And they're kind of swimming in a strange formation in the ebbing waters of the rice field. And you're like, well, hey guys, what are you doing down there? And they look at you and they, they're a little distrustful because... They've been hunted all season. And so they're like, well, we're not telling you what we're doing. I'm like, well, I might be able to help figure out what's happening if you if you tell me what's going on. And, you know, you're a very generous being. And so you keep persisting and asking what's happening down there. And they keep insisting that they're not going to give away what they're doing. And so they're swimming and you notice that they're paddling around in different patterns and you can't make heads or tails of it. And so then you just kind of walk off a little further and hide behind a willow tree to see if you can hear them. And then they start speaking freely amongst each other. And the lead goose says, um, that's A, B, C, D, okay. We've tried up to D. Well, what do you think? Do you think that there's anything else we could try? And another goose says, well, yeah, how about E, F, G? And so they go through in the water and they swim in all the different alphabet patterns and they get to G. And then a third goose says, that's a lot of letters we've cycled through and none of them feels right. I don't, I don't think we've got this. And the last little goose is like, we've got this. We just need to keep going. We need to keep trying. It's time for us to fly north. And if we don't get the right letter soon, we're going to be stuck here and they're going to plant this field out and there won't be any water and we're going to be stuck. I've heard of this happening. Some of the other geese have told me if you stay here, this field isn't water all year. Sometimes it turns into a rice field. So we really need to figure this out. And you were really tempted to step out and give them the answer. But you're like, no, no, no. I'll just watch and see what happens. I kind of respect their process. And so they keep, they keep swimming different patterns. And then they lift off and try it out. And you see them try flying in a C pattern. And they just hook back around and fly again and like, oh, flying in a sea is exhausting. I can't, I can't see us getting very far in a sea. And then they try a D and an E and they get 
pretty far along in the alphabet and every letter they try hasn't worked. It's really infuriating. They're frustrated and they keep landing. And that's when the teal come whistling along. And they all come skiing in and they take some sips of water and they nip some bugs out of the mud and have a few grains of leftover rice from the prior year. I'm like, whew, just stopping for a minute. You guys are going to hit the skies pretty soon, right? It's time to head north. And they're like, yeah, we, we can't figure it out. We forgot what to do. And um, we're really somewhere... We've tried a lot of letters of the alphabet to fly in formation, and we don't know which one. And they're like, oh, we could tell you. We all choose the same letter. And they're like, uh, are you trying to trick us? Because it's not that easy. You don't just know. And the teal sits back and goes, actually, you do just know. And the Canadian geese all look at each other like, uh, I didn't know anything. Did you know something? And the teal are like, really? How did you get here? You do remember coming to this place, right? You didn't just hatch here, did you? This hasn't been your forever spot. You all look like adult honkers to me. So you did get here, yes? And they're like, yeah, well, we did get here. And the teal are like, why don't you just sing with us and see if something comes back to you? You don't have to believe me, but... I think it might be a good idea if we all just sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, <clears throat> U. And the geese go, oh my God, you're right, V, V, ah! It's a V. We're supposed to be in a V formation. We were just overthinking this. This has just caused so much frustration that we were down here thinking we were never going to make it up to the nesting sites. Oh, thank you, Teal. We should have listened to you so long ago. And more, more to the point, we should have listened to ourselves. We came equipped with a guidance system. Thanks, Teal. And you kind of kept to yourself behind the willow tree and snickered. And you're like, I knew they'd come up with V eventually. And off they went. And their mighty wing beats lifted off. And in the perfect V, they soared off in the direction they were always supposed to go. I am so glad that you joined me today for this tale of transformation and Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you'll be back for the next tale. Thanks so much. Goodbye.